Hey friends, welcome back. If you're new here, my name is Nate Plummer. I am an actor's coach and the founder of Stage Door Unlocked. It is May and that means so many of the people probably watching this channel are recent college grads. You just graduated from a theater program either with a BA or a BFA and you're ready to jump into the world of being a professional actor. Today's video is all about the things that you might not have learned in college that you definitely need to know to be a successful actor. This is a video that I know I wish I had <laughs> right after I graduated, so I am so pumped to share this info with you. But first, I need coffee. Whether you graduated with a BA or a BFA, there are so many things that you learned as part of your college experience. But there are also a lot of things that the college faculty just don't have the time to be able to teach you. They're teaching you how to be an actor or how to be a theater artist, but there are lots of the ins and outs of the industry that are constantly changing that they don't always have time to teach. So the things that I'm going to share in this list are things that as a kind of cross section of the college experience, I found don't typically get taught during your four years in college. You might have had a fantastic program that covered one or two of these things. So this by no means is to say that these things are never covered in college. Some programs do take the time to cover a few of these things and that's great. But for those of you that don't know that these are things that you need to know, you don't know what you don't know, right? I want to make sure that you at least have a little bit of awareness on them so that you can start doing research on these things so you can be successful as you start to move your way through the industry. So the first thing that you want to make sure that you know is all about self-taping. Self-taping has been a very, very important part of the industry for well over the last decade. I remember that I was doing self-tapes even while I was in college, and that was a long time ago. We are seeing self-tapes becoming more and more common as a result of the pandemic, so many students did get a little bit of the experience of doing self-tapes, but a lot of times that was just kind of being thrown here, do a self tape. They didn't actually talk you through the ins and outs of how to set up lighting and what kind of background you should have and how you should frame the camera and how you should handle your audio if it's a musical theater audition and where your reader should be and where your eyeline should be and all of that kind of stuff. All of those things matter. So make sure that you do your research on setting up self tapes. I did do a video all about self tape mistakes. Feel free to check that out. The link is down in the description box below. The second thing that you're going to want to make sure that you do some research on is actor branding and marketing. Figuring out your type is a very important step in branding. And this is an area that a lot of colleges don't always work with students on, and that's not really their fault. By being in a college program, you are going to be having students playing roles that they aren't actually appropriate for. The pool of students for these particular roles is very, very limited. So you're going to have students playing roles that they're too young for, or that they aren't even remotely close to the type for. So you're gonna have to do some soul searching and figure out who am I as an actor? What types of roles do I play well? What is the age range that I can play? And then you take all of that information in figuring out your type, and then you narrow it down into figure out what your brand is. Your brand is how you represent yourself in your fonts, in your colors, in your word choice, in how you communicate when you're in the room. It's also going to factor into your headshots, your resume, your website, your social media, all of those marketing things that you do as an actor. It's also important to understand how those tools are used by casting professionals, taking the time to understand what is the actual process 
of someone looking at your website or looking at your social media. Why are they there and what information are they looking for? Understanding what marketing is and how it impacts you as an actor is a very, very important thing. If you would like help understanding your brand or learning more about actor marketing skills, feel free to reach out to us here at Stage Door Unlocked. I'd love to do a coaching session with you. The third thing that you need to know is how to handle your money. There are all kinds of memes out there about students knowing the mitochondria or the powerhouse of the cell, but they don't know how to do their taxes. And that is definitely a failing of our educational system. It is. I don't want to sugarcoat it and say that it's not, but now it's on you. You need to understand taxes. You need to know the different types of forms that you're going to have to fill out for different types of jobs. You're going to have to know the difference between W-2s and W-9s. You're going to have to understand how to get your own health insurance. You're going to have to understand how to set up a budget. You're gonna have to understand how to start investing your money for retirement because a lot of actors don't have access to those retirement funds that you might have at other jobs. Figuring out how to handle your money as an actor is so important because you are running a small business. You are the person responsible for all of your income, but you're also responsible for your expenses and knowing what you can and can't afford is something that I see messes with so many young actors, especially when you're coming out of college and you have all kinds of college debt. Figuring out how to navigate your way through your finances successfully is very, very important. Again, if you would like help with that, feel free to reach out to us here at Stage Door Unlocked. I'd love to share some tools and resources with you. The fourth thing that you need to do research on is the online world of being an actor. This includes websites, this includes social media, this also includes online audition profiles. Understanding how you represent yourself in a world where we have access to all kinds of information is so, so, so important. The reality is a lot of the professors that you had in college didn't have these things that they had to worry about as part of their acting careers. While they've been teaching for a very long time, and that makes them very great educators, they haven't been actively needing to use websites and social media and Actors Access and Backstage.com to get work. So this is where you need to do research to figure out exactly what your profiles need to include. This is where you need to do the research to figure out how should you craft an actor website? What should go on an actor's website? I just did a whole video all about actor websites. Again, I'll put the link down in the description box below. Understanding how social media and your websites and these profiles are used by casting teams all over the world is a very, very important thing and something that you should definitely start to comb your way through as you're starting to navigate the industry. If you'd like help with that, again, reach out to me for a coaching session. Finally, the fifth thing that you need to figure out is how auditions actually work. It is shocking to me the number of times I hear from clients how they never had an auditioning class in college. That is one of the most important things for an actor to learn. But it isn't just about learning how to audition. It's learning how the whole process of auditioning works understanding what it's like being on the other side of the table, understanding exactly what goes into writing a character breakdown, understanding exactly why the director is asking you to make an adjustment, even if it doesn't make any sense for the character you're auditioning for, understanding what role the monitor plays in the audition room, understanding the process of the unofficial list, or understanding how equity members are seen before EMC members who are seen before non-union members, understanding the difference between an agent appointment and a callback. There are so many parts of the actual auditioning world that we just don't have time to cover in academia. And again, that isn't the flaw of academia, it's just the amount of content that we need to cover 
and more importantly, the fact that our industry is constantly changing. And this is where having an audition coach, someone who specializes in auditions is so, so, so important. You want to have someone that maybe, yes, has been actively auditioning themselves, but more importantly, someone who's been on the other side and understands the process so that they can really watch your auditions for you, not just as an actor watching another actor going, well, this is how I would do it, but more importantly, watching as a director or watching as a casting director to give you feedback on what you actually need to be doing when you're in the room. Again, if you're looking for someone for your team, I would love to have you as part of the Stage Door Unlocked family. The link is down in the description box below. There you go. Those are the top five things that I think every actor needs to start researching as soon as they get out of college. Do you have any suggestions of things that you feel actors need more information on after they graduate? I would love to hear your thoughts. Comment down below. If you like this video, please give it a big thumbs up and click that big red subscribe button so you get notified whenever I post a new video. That's it for today's episode. As always, friends, you're awesome. Be awesome. And I'll see you next time.